tutorial I want to talk about organizing your media assets on your computer as well as creating and saving projects with Sony Vegas Pro. Now I'm not actually talking at the moment about organizing them inside the project media panel. We'll come to that in a separate tutorial. I'm talking about where your assets are actually on your computer. So I've got my Windows Explorer here and you'll see that I've actually organized all of my items for this particular project that I'm working on inside individual folders inside another main folder. So there I've got one that's called C Houses which is where it was taken and then I've got lots of folders, I've got one for all my video assets, one for my Photoshop documents, my pictures and my audio. Everything that I might need for this project is organized on my computer. Now you don't have to be as organized as this. Your items can be all over your computer and you can just go to them and bring them into your project. But bear in mind that what you're bringing in isn't the actual media item itself, just a link to where it is on your hard drive. So if I go to my video folder here, double click on that, and we see that in my project I've got this item down here which we can see up here it's called Surf Over Rock. And we can see that here it is, Surf Over Rock, inside my video folder. So if I now select that and I was to cut it and go cut and move it, so just up one layer say, and paste it here. So there we go, I've moved it. Sometimes you'll get an immediate or you can't do that from Sony Vegas and sometimes it'll let you do it. And if I minimize that now, what I'm actually going to end up with is a window inside Sony Vegas saying, whoa, hang on a second, I can't find the folder. You can see the following file could not be found in a specified location. And that's where it was. And that's where Sony's looking for it, where you originally put it. Now you've got a number of options here. You could say, if you wanted, just ignore it. I'll relink it a bit later on. It's not that important. And you could say that for all files, rather than this coming up for every single file, one after the other after the other, which, which is what it would do if everything was missing on your timeline, which can be a bit annoying. You could choose the default option, search for the missing file. When you click on that, it's going to go through all the different drives on your machine that you have, pen drives, external drives, cloud drives, whatever you've got, and it said it can search through all of those, which is going to take a while. Or alternatively, I'm going to click cancel on that one, you can specify the new location for the replacement file and actually navigate to it. But I'm not actually going to navigate to it. I'm going to click cancel at this moment. And you'll see that immediately I've got problems. On my timeline down here, you'll see that it says the media is offline, which it said anyway. And you'll see up here in my project media panel that I've just got a placeholder saying there should be something there, but it's not. It's not like the other ones which have actually got an item associated with them. This one's got nothing because it's actually a, uh, an audio file, not a, not a video file. But on the timeline, Sony Vegas has said, I know there's supposed to be something there, and I know that it's supposed to be edited. I'm just going to leave it as blank media, as a, as a placeholder, so that you can carry on editing, and you could relink it later if you want to. So what if I want to relink it? How do I do that? Well, I go up to the Project Media tab, and I right-click actually on the item itself that's offline. So right-click, and then go down to Replace. And when I click Replace, you'll see that it then says, OK, this is where it should have been. Where is it now? And that's the same as searching. So I can go and find it. Say, so there it is, Surf Over Rock. Select it and click OK. And when I do so, it relinks the media. It remembers all my editing decisions, notice. None of my editing decisions have been lost. But it's remembered all of those and relinked the media immediately. OK, so I'm going to actually just undo all of that. So I'm going to take this and move it back to my video file. And I don't really want this SFK file, so I can delete that. Yes, I want to delete it. And then you'll see that everything's going to go offline again. And I can actually say this time I'll specify the location. And it's supposed to be in video. And it's supposed to be Surf Over Rock. Double click to select it. And then it's all linked back to how it was before. Now, say I have finished with this project and I want to create a new project. How do I do that? Well, it's the same functions as you get in any type of word processor or anything on the Windows machine. You've got the new file icon here, which is a new empty project. You can see that there is a keyboard shortcut, Control shift n But if you just click that, it says, do you want to save the ones that you've done at the moment? I'm going to say, no, I don't want to save it. And a new blank empty project is ready for me to go and move forward. And if I want to save a project, let me just go back and reopen that project. If you go to the file menu, you'll see at the bottom, these are projects that you're working on. So I'm going to go on that one and I'm going to open up that project again. There it is. If you want to save a project, clearly it's file save. 
save and save as that is not exporting it okay this is not producing a media file at the end of it it's just remembering all the editing decisions you've got so that you can go away from it and come back and everything is saved exactly the way it was when you started so that is making sure that you've organized your media on your hard drive and remembering that if you move it you could have a problem but also it's how we can save and we can open and we can close and we can do all the usual things through the usual menus that we have here so that's open and close and save and what have you and save as if you want to save a different version. In the next tutorial we're going to look at bringing media properly into your project, organizing it in your project, creating bins if we need to and also a little bit of a conversation about tagging footage so that you can find things if you need it. My name's Andrew Davis, and thanks for watching.